do, 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 do. Hello, Sue. Hello, oh, Bertie. those look nice. Yes, don't they? I thought we'd have a nice big lunch as we've all been so busy today. Quite right, Sue. Mm. I'm going to read the newspaper, Sue, all, all right. right? then. Look at that. Hey! Gorilla escapes from local zoo. I hope it doesn't come around here. There's enough monkeys in this house without another one. Oh. <laughs> That's the gorilla! Come, no, come back here. Give me that panda. Give, give me the panda. Give, 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 and the sausages. Have you got the sausages? Sue, no, don't worry, Sue. Don't worry. Come, give me that panda. Look, if you don't... Is it for me? Hello? Uh, no, Sutty's not here. I'll take a message for him. Who is it? The Teddy Town News. What, the, the, lo the local newspaper? Yes. Yeah. Sue, could you be quiet? I'm on the telephone. Yeah. Sutty's done what? He's won a competition. Has he Rick? Sue, be quiet. Shh. He's won a competition. A free holiday for four? That's fantastic. Excuse me, I'll have to go now. I'm, I'm just chasing a gorilla. He's got my panda. Right, goodbye and thank you. Give me my panda, please. Give me the... Give, give, give that to me. Come on. I want the sausages as well. No, no stop messing about. Look, give them to me. Boy, give me my panda. Let's go. Give me the sausages. Give me the sausages. Sue, are you all right? Thank you, man. You? Just a little breathless. It's not every day one gets killed by a gorilla. You're quite right, Sue. Well, listen, I think we should have a celebration meal, a slap up celebration. Well, that's not going to help us save for our holiday. Sue, we don't have to save for our holiday. That telephone call I just had was from the local newspaper to say that Sooty has won a competition, a free holiday for four, so we don't have to save anymore. Oh, but what about the money we've already saved? Sue, don't worry. We'll give that to a local charity. How's that? Oh, yes, it's a good What's idea. Sweet? Can we go for the slap-up meal now? We can indeed. Come on, let's go and celebrate. <laughs> Yummy. No, I wasn't very no. fond of that gorilla, Sue. You enjoyed the slap-up meal? <laughs> and so did yes, you. I yes. think we all enjoyed the slap-up meal, sweet. Hey, fancy winning a free holiday. You are a clever little bear. Mm. I've got all the holiday brochures here. We'll have a look at those presently. But I've got a story about a holiday. Would you like to hear that? Oh, yes, please. All right. It's called Sooty's Holiday. Sooty, Sweep and Sue decided to go to Old Amsterdam in Holland for their holiday. <laughs> they would visit their friend Maggie Mouse who lived in a windmill beside the river. When they arrived, they climbed the high winding stairs to the room at the top where Maggie lived. Maggie made them a delicious tea of chocolate fudge cake and strawberry Ooh, ice yeah, cream. Yeah. And whilst they were eating, she told them a story all about the windmill. Long ago, a very rich Dutch miller had lived there. But when he died, no one could discover where he'd hidden his gold. Mm. I'm going to find the treasure, said Sooty, as soon as I've had one more piece of chocolate mm. fudge cake. Oh, yum. <laughs> after tea, Sooty began exploring the windmill. He went through room after room, but all they contained was old bags of flour and cheese and dust. Perhaps I should look outside, he said. Mm. So he climbed onto a small platform in between the windmill's sails. At that very moment, a huge, strong gust of wind blew up, and the sails began to go round and round. Faster and faster they went, until one of them caught Sooty's arm and carried him high up into the air, and then plunged him down towards the ground again. Round and round he went, hanging on for dear life as the wind blew more and more. Soon, he began to feel giddy, until he couldn't hold on any longer. He let go, and he was thrown high up into the air and landed with a big splash in the river outside the windmill. Luckily, Sweep just happened to be passing by in an old barge. Good old Sweep. <laughs> he held his oar down into the water for Sooty to catch. He pulled Sooty aboard, but guess what was hooked onto the end of the oar? An old leather bag covered in mud, and when they opened it, out fell hundreds and hundreds of gold coins. <laughs>